leaders of MOST, the political party that holds the key to forming Croatia's next government, are preparing today for the final round of talks with the two big coalitions that need most support to end the hung parliament that followed the November 8th general election. Most has been talking to both sides over the past week about their list of sweeping reforms. A willingness to implement those reforms will determine the side to which Most will lend its support. HDZ leader Tomislav Karamarko is meeting today with his party's members of the European Parliament to discuss the security situation in Europe and the migrant crisis. Karamarko has expressed concern over the possibility of national security overtaking the economy as the number one issue troubling the country. Asked about his coalition's talks with Most, he said that he has still not heard Most's position on the issue of national security. Following the terrorist attacks in Paris a week ago, Europe is on high alert. Belgium's capital, Brussels, is under the highest terror alert for the second consecutive day after authorities warned of a serious and imminent threat. The government has advised the public to avoid crowds. Police are searching for at least two people believed to be connected to the Paris attacks. Croatia's president, Kolinda Grabar-Kitarovic, is meeting with her Slovenian counterpart, Borut Pahor, in Ljubljana today to prepare for an upcoming summit of the Brdo Briuni process in Zagreb, which will be attended by U.S. Vice President Joe Biden and European Council President Donald Tusk. Croatia's mountain regions, Lika and Gorski Kotar, are seeing the first snow of the season this weekend. The whiteout is causing traffic and other problems in many areas. Power outages are reported in Gospich and other parts of Lika. Crews are working to clear roads, but traffic in the region is slow. PPD Zagreb lost at home to German side Flensburg on Saturday in Champions League handball. The final score, 30-23. Despite their second defeat on home ground, Zagreb remain on track for a last 16 spot, sitting four points ahead of their main opponents, Celle and Istanbul, in their group. In domestic First League football, Osijek and Rijeka played to a one-all draw on Saturday. Rijeka took the lead in the 45th minute with a goal by Beziak. They were poised to take the victory when in the final minutes of extra time, Škoric scored the equalizer for the home team. Rijeka remains atop the rankings with 35 points, two more than second place Dinamo. Hajduk is in third position with 32 points. They crushed Inter 4-0 in the second game of the evening. Sušić scored the first goal in the 23rd minute. Tudor made it 2-0 in the 41st. Number three followed from Bensun and Rogulic cemented the victory with the final goal late in the game. This afternoon's forecast calls for calmer weather but with still some lingering precipitation, rain mostly in Dalmatia and snow in the mountains and the east of the country. Precipitation will taper off by the end of the day and there is a chance of partly clear skies in the west. There will be mild breezes in the interior. On the north and central sections of the coast, northeasterly winds are expected to decline, while high westerly and southwesterly winds will continue in Dalmatia. Afternoon temperatures will range from 1 to 6 degrees Celsius in the interior and on the coast from 9 degrees in the north to 18 degrees in the south. There will still be some light precipitation in the interior on Monday, mostly in the afternoon. The morning will be brisk. It will be mostly cloudy on Tuesday with light rain and snow. On Wednesday, it will be partly sunny and mostly dry with morning fog. On the coast, the weather will be variable over the next two days with rain, particularly on Tuesday. Moderate to high northeasterly winds are expected. On Wednesday, it will be partly sunny and winds will be milder. Thank <laughs> you.